I'm sorry? We didn't do any base cuts before, right? We did one base, we did a base catalyzed transesterification, but we haven't done base catalyzed hydrolysis yet. These would be our starting materials for a base catalyzed uh, hydrolysis. So we have to decide uh, what's going to happen first here. These are the products you guys got. Okay, now there's a couple of details here uh, to look into. All right, so we don't need to start with any protonations. The nucleophile just attacks and then we reform the carbonyl. So base conditions seem much uh, simpler. Um, and that produced a negative leaving group. Normally we wouldn't have a oxygen negative leaving group, but it's okay here because we're reforming the carbonyl and we're not in acidic conditions. So we can form a negative uh, intermediate. I think these are the products you drew. These would be okay, except what's the name of this functional group? That's right. Now remember earlier we said that carboxylic acids, because they're acids, actually have two different forms, protonated or deprotonated. And your last step has to be to ask which form would be appropriate as your final product. Well, in these conditions, this is where it becomes important that these were basic conditions. In basic conditions, you can't have a, carbo a protonated carboxylic acid as your final product. So the best thing to do with this leaving group here now is to have it deprotonate the carboxylic acid. This is actually a, a pretty important idea. Uh, if you haven't got, well, you've just, uh, you haven't started the homework, but I think on this new homework you'll see, in many cases it's frustrating, you think you got the right answer, but you forgot to deprotonate, and that's important. Uh, and if it's not on this homework, you'll see that on the next homework. So, so these would be our final products. Okay, yeah, it's very uh, hard for people to remember this step. So again, we have to make a strong note in our notes. Anytime you have a carboxylic acid as your final product, you should ask, is this really the final product or um, should I deprotonate it? Well, if there's a good base around, you, could, you should end by deprotonating that carboxylic acid. So it takes some practice to learn to, to watch out for the situation. Because it's a base. Yeah, and because the carboxylic acid is an acid. So if, you, if you've generated a base and you've got a carboxylic acid, you're not done with your reactions. The acid and the base should react with each other. This is the best uh, way to draw it over here. So we didn't protonate the leaving group before it left, but we are going to protonate it here after it leaves in this acid-base reaction um, over here. All right, so this is not a, a technicality. This is uh, actually important. And that means that we did not produce a carboxylic acid as our final product. We produced a carboxylate. A deprotonated carboxylic acid is called a carboxylate. Eight is oftentimes used for uh, anions like nitrate or sulfate or whatever. So this is a carboxylate. However, usually you want a carboxylic acid. If you were doing this in a synthesis, you'd probably want a carboxylic acid, which means you'd have to do another step. This would be our step one. And then step two would do aqueous workup so that you really do get the carboxylic acid. So if you're using this in a synthesis, you would then do a step two.
So if this was a synthesis problem, you probably were trying to make a carboxylic acid. So after you added um, the base and water, then you would have a separate aqueous workup step where you would actually protonate that carboxylate. So this is another reason why this is important to know, because otherwise we'd leave the last step off of our synthesis over here. So you'll definitely see some examples of this where we have to put in the H3O plus uh, at the end. Okay, so um, I think that the actual mechanism for this base catalyzed hydrolysis was very easy for both of you. The hard part was remembering to deprotonate the carboxylate at the end. So anytime we're producing a carboxylic acid, you've got to ask should I deprotonate it. That was our only uh, tricky part uh, over here. Okay, so now we've seen the acid and the base catalyzed hydrolysis. Okay, um, perhaps, uh, let's see, we should talk a little bit about the amides and how to work with that. So, all right. <clears throat> 